What is up, YouTube? This is Mr. MPQ, your source in the Southwest for all things Marvel Puzzle Quest. Coming to you live from Phoenix, Arizona. It is our first video of the new year. Today is Thursday. I had to double check there. January 3rd, 2019. And uh, we did not hit that uh, 500 subscriber mark by December 31st. So we're still giving away a $25 gift card when we hit 500 subs. Uh, we were going to give away two if we did that before New Year's Eve, uh, but that did not happen. So stay tuned for more details as we approach that 500 subscriber mark. And um, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, uh, now is your chance. You can uh, feel free to click that subscribe button and the notification bell for instant YouTube updates when videos get posted. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thanks for joining us. If you're a regular, welcome back as always. If you like what you see, every like, share, and subscribe is always appreciated. It does help us continue to grow the online community here on YouTube for Marvel Puzzle Quest and helps us reach other questers just like yourself. Today's video is going to be a Crash of the Titans reset video. Um, you can see, based on my countdown timer here, um, it is fairly close to midnight. I had the intention to uh, record a video, but I went out in my back porch and there was some police activity in the neighborhood so it's very loud with the chopper and the police sirens and the loud megaphone so I had to wait for all that to calm down and um, that has since transpired so here we are finally getting to make the video um, let's get to it so uh, in the top right hand corner where you see Star Lord that is the Heroes for Hire store you can see they have Star Lord for 250 command points 500 command points for cable uh, with an extra 50,000 purple ISO and then Dazzler is the featured four star and next cycle will be Invisible Woman. Now I do not have hardly any covers for Dazzler so I am unfortunately going to have to spend the hero points to get this to have any kind of a hope I think at getting uh, this accomplished. The extra command points don't hurt. I was saving my hero points specifically for this not having many Dazzler covers has hurt me in the past and my progression with previous events. So we're going to go to roster, we're going to train up Dazzler. That puts her at 2-2-0 uh, build. And we're going to have to level her up here do, 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 shortly. Spend a couple of, uh, about 5,000 ISO to get her to 106. This is not one that I really foresee myself being able to do, but I'm going to give it the old college try anyways, just because I try to always do it, because you never know with the lucky board what could happen. So uh, her abilities are black, green, uh, sorry, black, red, and green. I don't have green, of course. Uh, black is a passive ability called Survivor. And at this level, uh, if... Dazzler takes 1244 or more damage for every two friendly strike, protect, or attack tiles up to eight on the board. Removes one enemy strike, protect, or attack tile and stuns the target for one turn. So it's kind of weird because you have to trigger that damage in order to get that effect. And then you have to um, have so many tiles on the board that are friendly to remove an enemy. But the stun for one turn as a passive is pretty unique. At higher levels, uh, the damage increases, removes uh, two enemy strike, protect, attack, or countdown tiles at level 5. Still a one turn stun. Dance Floor Queen, Dance Floor Queen, excuse me, for 10 red AP cost is going to create three strike tiles with a strength 64 for every three additional red AP is going to create another strike tile strength 51 so a little bit less strength but extra at level five it creates five strike tiles and then for every three creates three strike tiles uh, when this ability is fired so the ability does scale up quite significantly and then sounds of light and fury her green ability for seven ap cost it's going to deal 303 damage to the team so it's a great uh, aoe plus 32 damage for every friendly Special tile up to 10, so you could potentially um, double that damage if you have 10 friendly special tiles on the board, and that's just at level 1. <clears throat> at level 5, this deals at this level 770 damage plus 262 for every 
special friendly tiles. So that is a um, huge jump in ability as well. Unfortunately, I don't have any of those green covers. AoEs are great for hitting enemies who are invisible as well. So that is Dazzler. We're going to jump into Deadpool's Daily here. And in the bottom right hand corner, you see the Rocket and Groot symbol. This is four star Rocket and Groot. So blue, yellow, green abilities. With only the green ability overlapping, the other black and red um, are separate, and blue and yellow are going to be separate. So, Four Star Rocket and Groot has their own uh, quirks about them, and uh, can be a definite pain uh, in in combat. So, uh, progression rewards full twenty two thousand taco points, and then a latest Legends recruit token for completing this. If we can complete this. Um, there is a Dazzler also in, if you go to the Taco Vault, you can see there's a green cover. And I may actually pull a couple of these tokens and try to get lucky so I can at least add one cover uh, to her green. Got Punisher. Oh, speaking of Punisher, Season 2 on Netflix, if you've been following that series, uh, is coming out January 18th, which is in roughly two weeks. So very excited for that series. Uh, I was lucky enough to meet John Bernthal at Comic-Con uh, a couple years ago. Was it? Not this past year, but the year before. And uh, really nice guy. Great, great job doing Frank Castle in the Punisher and Daredevil series. Um, we'll just pull a couple more of these. We'll go down to maybe 70. I think that's about 10 pulls or so, 15 pulls. And uh, see if we can get one of these four star covers. Black Widow. Some hero points. Always helps. And it's really just a random pull at this point. Uh, I used to be able to see the icons of what was flashing in in the background there let's see we'll try a couple more just for grins and giggles i've been trying to save up these tokens unsuccessfully uh there's always something comes up that i'm trying to pull for Usually it's a bunch of two stars. So we'll go to 60. We'll say that's 20 pulls total. Oh, we did get a four star. Check that out thing. Wrong four star. Um, if we get back to back four stars, that would be amazing. Three star Gamora. I don't think we're going to get Dazzler out of this. At least not today. All right, fair enough. We got a couple uh, three stars and a four star, but we're just gonna jump into it. So mine is at 106. She's only got 5,600 health. Uh, odds are not quite in my favor. So I am going to stack with boosts because I don't normally do this, but it just so happens that she's underpowered. So we're gonna take stockpile. We're going to do power boost, all matches. And I got everything is pretty much maxed out on these uh, boosts because I hardly ever use them, but I will for the sake of this. And then uh, power boost. Let's do blue and purple. No, let's do black and green since we should be aiming for our own colors. Uh, yeah, so we have 150% power boost, match damage, and stockpile. I think that should be a good place to start to make up for some of the... Uh, ...lower level here. So Rocket and Groot starts out the board with uh, almost 13,000 health. Rocket Pack is blue repeater tile that deals damage each turn and creates a strength 121 black attack tile. Definitely don't want him to get blue. Passive abilities you saw create strike tiles. Uh, four of them for 121 
strength each. Um, there is no other members on the team, so the extra damage from a Guardian's member does not apply here. And don't push this button. It creates a countdown tile that uh, group matches an extra match at the beginning, very similar to uh, main event Hulk's uh, automatic swap. And then the countdown tile also deals a bunch of damage. Uh, so really, I just don't want to let them get anything uh, that's in there. Uh, yellow would be okay, but that's about it. So let's do this. And this. Of course it sets up blue. Yeah, this fight is not gonna go well. I can tell you right now. They start out with extra damage. Should have done yellow and red as my boost. Ugh, because black is passive. Shenanigans. Okay. Well, we're definitely going to give us another shot. Because I messed up my boost. Good thing we got some extra health packs. Oop, not that. That. We're gonna go into fight, and we're gonna do stockpile. Change that to red and yellow. And we're just gonna switch this to stockpile all to get us that extra red. Okay, this is good. We can get rid of one of these. Get rid of that. Good. Get rid of those strike tiles that cause extra damage. All right, now we're in business. Um, I'm going to do this. And... See, I'm trying to force him to make an off-color match so that I can keep him from getting blue and green. Hmm. Oi. Critical though. Okay, so we get one of our own. Beautiful. Uh, we can do this. Ten, so we don't have any extra. That's okay because we don't have any easily made matches here for red. So we're just going to do this. Take the extra damage where we can get it. 192 extra per match. It's not great, but it'll do. Mm. Okay, here comes the jetpack, so that's going to deal a bunch of damage. Oof, that's done. Ooh, okay, so tough match for sure. I don't think this is going to be one we do just because of covers. Usually I recommend being at least like 100 and 
50 to 180 minimum, especially against a very strong opponent like Rocket and Groot. Uh, we'll try it again one more. Um, instead of stockpile, let's do extra damage on blue and purple. Since those are not our colors, and we are going to be... Oh, not stockpile. What am I doing? Boost damage. Power boost. So even if we're trying to get tiles away from him, we can still get that damage. Oh boy. Okay. I don't want to give him that... Mm. That blue match. Well, he's going to get green either way. Mm, but if he gets that, he's going to have both. Oh, not a good position to be in. Okay. So. Let's do this. Now we can do that. Get the blue for ourselves. Now her passive says if she takes... Hmm. So we have to have friendly tiles on the board and then take that much damage. This is how that works. Hmm, okay. are in such a horrible place. This is just a bad match all the way around. Yeah, I'm gonna die soon. Critical. Lucky with the critical there. Take that. Yeesh. Didn't even get him to half health. Yeah, create shield tiles. Well, it doesn't work if you don't have someone that can do that. All right, so let's do stockpile. Ooh, I think the game feels bad for us. That was a good setup there. Giving him a lot. Hmm, okay. Oh, I actually have extra. Beautiful. All right. So now we have friendly tiles on the board. Can't let him get any more green, so we gotta go with this match. Critical. Take the critical. 
Hmm. Get rid of that. Yeah, we're gonna go down. But not without a fight. Yeah, we're done. Ugh. Alright, so as much as it pains me to do this, I do have to probably recognize when the battle's been lost. We'll give it one more go. Power match, stockpile, and maybe we need something different here. Boost. Oh, I already have that one. Uh, power boost. Now watch us not get any red matches. it uh, that was on me and we're toast oh it went the other way um, still probably not gonna happen After this fight, we may do something different, um, just because. Yeah. So even with getting the extra Dazzler cover, I was still not able to be high enough level to accomplish that. Crash of the Titans. So, what we're gonna do? Let's go back over here. See if we can pull a few more. Get that green cover at least, so we have another offensive ability. Lots of Black Widow. I always like to tell people be persistent, but you also have to be sometimes realistic. Tazzler is not a great character by any stretch. Um, she's definitely more of a support type character. I don't think she's very good standalone. Um, also, I don't have very many covers for her, so as you can tell, she doesn't get used often. Alright, so we've pulled 10% at least of the covers in here. One 4-star and a few 3-stars out of 10% is not bad. Of 
course, being a vault of 300 rewards is much more challenging to get those four-star covers. I'm just waiting for the game to prove me wrong and give me another one. 5,000 ISO. One of them. If we don't get another cover, I don't think this is going to be feasible. A couple She-Hulks already. I think... She-Hulk is close to a legendary token. So we'll pull two more of these. We'll drop down to 30 total covers. We'll take a look at adding in some roster rewards. Maybe we get lucky out of that. Sell that. Two stars. Are saved. Three stars. We'll just go down the list. Command points. Uh, that's what, no legendary token there. That is an extra cover. We got a couple of these. Uh, now we're just going to save them all. Here we go. Legendary token regardless. And that cover there. Four star. We got a thing. Up to 282. We got another Taskmaster. Red cover. Uh, from the... 12 Days of Marvel, uh, Peggy Carter, and Bishop. Overclocked. Got his first red cover, so he's a 101 build. And five stars, nobody hanging on deck. How close are we here? Really? That close. Uh,. Okay. Let's save these covers. Still waiting for a save all button. champion for some extra covers here definitely don't have enough for that have to be somebody up here 
definitely short. Well, snickerdoodles. All right, we're just gonna do what we can here. We have one latest legend cover to pull. Uh, one in 20 chance for bonus heroes, one in seven, which now includes a Cable Kingpin and Kitty Pride with Loki being shipped out to the classic pack. And hey, hey, we got a bonus. Hey, that's something. I was hoping maybe we got a Dazzler, but we'll do one more. Hey, I needed that. So we'll go back to rewards. We're going to train Wiccan. That puts him at 13 covers. Uh, no, oh, sorely not. Okay, 11 out of 3. Panther, however, goes to 352. Finally got some abilities other than blue. You can see I have saved three saved covers. Those were all blue. Uh, so it's nice to get some other colors in there. Um, and then that should put us over the top to 119, 60,000 ISO. And then I will sell a two star. Let's get rid of Captain Marvel here. Okay, and then we can do this. We got those guys back on the board. That's all the rewards. Okay, I'm gonna have to build up a, another two star eventually. Who's on deck here for four stars that we can champion? 209, Spider Gwen, Sherry, Venom. Six save covers. One save cover. No saved covers because he's only at 12. Five. Three. Two. None. Hmm. Four save covers for Nico. Kingpin's got two. X23 has five. Hmm. So it looks like, actually, based on covers, we could do Venom. Hmm. I don't know. I don't use them too much. I know you got to rework. Uh, you know, in the spirit of things, I just watched Venom. Uh, we rented it the other night. I will go ahead and boost Venom. Make him a champ. That extra legendary. All right, we go back to latest legends. Red Hulk. Okay. I do need that for his champion level. We'll take it. So we got one, two, uh, three pulls total with one bonus hero, four four stars added, plus a taskmaster and a bishop from previous. All in all, not a great video, but not the worst video. So thank you guys so much for watching if you stay tuned this far. 
I really appreciate all the support and wish everybody a very uh, happy and successful 2019. And as we continue to grow the channel, uh, again, we'll be giving away a $25 gift card when we hit 500 subscribers. So please tell your friends and uh, join us here for more fun on Marvel Puzzle Quest. Usually videos are a little bit more exciting than this, but um, hey, we all have those those weeks or those days so thanks again for watching check me out on twitter at mr mpq for more marvel puzzle quest news and updates as they come out and until next time as always keep on questing and i'll see you in the next video adios amigos